Hey everyone, this is just a quick video. I uh, haven't done a video in a while. I'm using the uh, actual YouTube uh, video recording uh, app. That's in the uh, thing. Anyways, had to make this video. I've got to call out a one Mr. Maddie Shills. The channel is called Mr. Maddie Plays, but I always call Mr. Maddie Shills. I'm going to be writing a link to a video I just watched from his in the description. Um, this guy in multiplayer fallout and multiplayer being in the, uh, in the Elder Scrolls and talking about people need to temper their expectations and I've seen him several times his eyes light up with delight and and excitement he is having a major hard on for the the Elder, uh, Elder Scrolls multiplayer and fallout multiplayer and for them not being single player anymore this guy is the biggest um, fucking hypocrite one of the biggest fucking hypocrites I've ever seen on YouTube or anywhere in the world. The guy claims to be the biggest hardcore RPG fanatic, lover of hardcore RPG mechanics, liking to play top-down RPGs like the old Fallouts, liking Wasteland 2 and different things like that, and choices and all that shit. He claims to be a lover of that so much and, and not wanting those things to go away, but yet he shills... Well, obviously, because he wants Bethesda's freebies and for them, for him to constantly get invites over there. And, you know, he probably is getting paid. But even if he isn't getting paid, per se, he's getting freebies. He's getting invites. You know, whatever. But the guy needs to, you know, this is kind of for him, too. I know some of his uh, fanatic fanboys will probably show on the video. And I'll definitely downvote this one. But, uh, Mr. Matty Shills, you need to stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to everybody else. You don't love hardcore RPGs. You're basically a fart night huffing, PUBG plucking, battle royale, new age asshat that just loves going into online games and just causing shit and chaos. You're not a true fan. If you were really a true RPG fan, you would be fighting to keep them in the game. You would be making videos constantly about it. You would be when you go to Bethesda and get these fucking freebie visits, you would hold them to task and you would tell them. You know, you would fight for you. You wouldn't just give up and say, oh, you know, let's just give up. You know, this is the way it's going to be. And, you know, but you're not just giving up. You're enjoying it. You're excited for it. But uh, basically, uh, another message that I have to say beyond, uh, you know, fucking uh, Mr. Matty Shills and calling out him. Uh... Fallout 76, if this game is allowed to be successful, say goodbye to single-player Elder Scrolls and Fallout forever. This game is a massive test. That's why they were nervous and worried. And we have the power as consumers, if we couple the negative backlash and we keep the negative, angry backlash going, we also, you know, don't buy the product. It's important that this game fail. It's important that this game is not successful. Because if it is successful, if any of you love and enjoy the single player experience, you can fucking say goodbye to that forever. You will never have a single player experience again. You know, could I possibly handle, if, if it was just limited co-op, a la kind of like how Dying Light worked, or where your guy is just a companion and you go into their world and you can go back to yours and maybe you earn some cool, whatever the fuck. That might be okay, possibly. I might be able to accept that, but you know that's not gonna be the way it is. You can say, I want, Elder Scrolls needs to be a single player RPG. That's what it is and that's what it should be. You know, let the modders, you know, the, the Skyrim Together mod, that was great, but Bethesda wants to shut them down because they have their own fucking idea and it's not the same thing, but it's, Oh man, you've been warned guys, if you actually love or care about RPGs, you need to fight and advocate that this game fail. You need to campaign against it, because if you don't, say goodbye to our beloved single player RPGs. You know, Bethesda is dedicated to the path of casualization, dumbing down and removal of RPG elements from all the future titles for the new age assets. You know that, right? And the only way we can possibly correct course is by making this game fail. Make Fallout 76 fail. Make it flop. Let angry backlash couple the not buying of the product. Or if people do buy it, uh, and if you do buy it by accident, return it. Sell it back. You know, at least uh, 
if you do end up buying it back and so receive it as a gift, send it back. And that will also, they do get those numbers too, and that will also tell them. But if we do that and this game fails enough, they're going to keep Elder Scrolls VI single player. They're on the fence about it. They're not ready to go all in yet, I don't think. Anyways, uh, you guys take care and have a good night.